Hi, to write a solution for Redix sort in JavaScript, the first thing we do is to check our input array and make sure that we only accept positive integers or value of zero. Otherwise, we just return our function and uh, up a console log to info. Uh, then the first step we do for when we, our sorting starts is to get the max value of our input array. So in this case, the value is uh, 40. Then we use the max value to calculate our iteration count. In this case, 40 to string and get the length property will return us a value of 2. Then we will use uh, two iterations based on the iteration count. So in this case, the first thing we do inside the first iteration will be declaring a bucket array that's having a fixed length of 10. And we will be using the index of um, the array to represent digit. And uh, as you can see, there is a subarray inside the parent array. So this array will be the will be the bucket that uh, we can push our actual uh, values inside the input array inside. And uh, so let's see it in action. So when we loop through the input array from left to right, the first element we check 40, because the first digit is zero, so we push it here. So that's 30 and 20 and 10. And then we move on to value four. Value four will be pushed to uh, bucket four and the value three, uh, value two value one. So by the end of the iteration for our input array, our bucket array will look like this. And we will use the sequence that we generated inside our big bucket array to rearrange our input array. So our array will look like our input array will look like this. So when we move on to the second iteration for our second digit, we can use the, the new input array to do our iteration. So just like the first iteration, we first declare a new bucket array of size 10. Then we start, this time we write our, the process ourselves, shall we? So first element 40 uh, is going to be pushed to the value 4 bucket because we are checking the second digit. And then we move on to 30. Check the second digit, 20. And then 10. 1, 2, 3 doesn't have the second digit, so we will just use 0 to uh, represent their digit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, we're just uh, being pushed in uh, sequentially. And uh, yeah, by the end of the two iteration, our input array will be sorted just like, just like this. So the only the first thing we can then think about is uh, how do we get a, a, the digit from a specific uh, space? So let's move on to our Chrome console to find out the solution. Let's say we have a number of one, two, three, four, right? And we want to get the first digit four. So we can just do divide by 10 here as you can see our reminder uh, makes us uh, help us we isolate the number we want by divide 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 that number by 10 so we can just use uh, get the reminder of one two three four uh, when divide by 10 then we get our first digit value so what about second digit second digit is three so if we want to do that, we just do one, two, three, four, divide by 10 again, and we get one, two, three point five, and we do a mass dot floor here. And uh, we push in the one, two, three point four here, and we get one, two, three. So we can just do the, the step we did above and get our uh, value three here. So based on the digit value here, so start from right, right to left, digit zero, digit one, digit two, digit three. We can use 10 to the uh, power of digit to uh, actually move the decimal point to the place where uh, the first element on its left is uh, actually the value we want to return. So that's how we uh, get our digit. Let's move back to our VS Code and write our solution. 
function uh, read xsort. We will first taking an input array. Then we will, like always, we will check the length of the input array and have it have at least two values inside. Or otherwise, we just return the input array here. Secondly, uh, as specified here, we get the max value. So we use let max value equals to the first indexed that we our input array is pointing to. And uh, then we can uh, use a for loop and let index equals to one and use it to loop for the rest of the array. If input array at the index of i i is bigger than our max value, then we update our max value with our element here. So by the end of this four block, our max value will be obtained so we can get our iteration count. So we can write something like Then we pass in the lens here. So lens is not a function, it's a property, so we don't put bracket in the end. And uh, we write another for loop, for, for loop and use the iteration count here. So this time we will uh, declare our variable called digit and start with zero. smaller than iteration count and digit increment itself every time we run our code here in the this block. So uh, in here we can first uh, like declare here, uh, declare a bucket first. So it's going to be constant uh, bucket array going to equals to array dot from then we passing an uh, array like object and having the property um, of uh, 10 so that every firm can study this object to have similar properties likewise. So then we can put, put in a map function and have every value inside this uh, new array to have, uh, have a value of uh, empty array first, just like, just like this. So our bucket array is uh, declared. Then we can start pushing value by uh, looping through our input array. So it's to make uh, like indexed equals to zero and uh, the input array and I plus plus. After this is done, we can then get our digit value. So constant digit value would be equal to input array at the index of i uh, divided by 10 to the power of a digit. We use mass.power to get that number and push put in the digit value here. And we wrap it and uh, get the mass floor value of it then we get the reminder by divide by 10. Yeah, our digit value is obtained. We can um, then uh, push the value, right? So I use the bucket array at the index of our digit value and it will return us with a bucket. So we push the input array at the index of i here. Yeah, so after the, the bucket array is finished, uh, after this four block is uh, finished, our bucket array will be uh, you know, used to rearrange our input array. So uh, input array can be equals to array dot uh, concat and and uh, 
here we can put in as many arrays as uh, as we want so we can just list out all the uh, arrays inside our bucket array here then our input array is uh, is rearranged so by the end of this full block i think our array is, is sorted so we can then return our input array yeah i think that's how we write our reading sort so uh, let's console.log our solution by invoking the reading sort passing the unsorted array let's run yeah as you can see our array is sorted so uh, this is typically how you write a reading sort in javascript thank you for watching